The police chief and other senior officers visited the disaster scene to assess the situation and commiserate with the bereaved family and other victims. Sergeant Ousua Santiba Efi, 35, his wife and their three-month-old baby boy were burned to death after they got trapped in the apartment within the police barracks at Apromasi. I was asleep and I heard noise. So I woke up. When I woke up, I saw smoke all over my room. So I took this closed. This was the only thing I could take. And I woke up my children, my two boys. I have two boys. I woke them up and came outside with them. They couldn't open the door. And the, the men outside tried opening it, but they couldn't do it. Dr. George Akufudampare engaged with the affected families. When incidents like this come, we are shocked. And indeed, we are right to be shocked. Because you can see a life last night, and that life is gone the next dawn. As human beings, we will feel it. And that same feeling that you feel, I do. And it is on that that we couldn't stay in Accra and thinking that somebody else can come and do this for us. He instructed the immediate relocation of all police officers and their families from the building that was affected by the fire. Because of the fact that it happened within a set of blocks or flats, we don't want to take any chance. So I have instructed that all the other blocks not affected, we are going to have to evacuate all of you and give you a decent place nearby so that especially now that schools are reopened, the case also will not be disadvantaged. Why is we leave this structure for a complete assessment by structural engineers, by electrical engineers and all the other experts who can have a very comprehensive examination of the situation for us to know what needs to be done to improve safety within the floods for you to be able to come back. The bodies of the deceased have since been deposited at the Living Waters Hospital morgue. With just 16 days into January, the Ashanti region has recorded over 90 fire incidents with three casualties. The Ghana National Fire Service has described the situation as worrying. What is contributing to this fire is like we all know we are in the Amatan season. The weather is dry and almost every substance is, has lost its moisture. So the slightest spark will start a big fire. So we have to be very careful starting fires. Naked light, electrical gadgets, even how we use gas, we have to be particular about it. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Apromasi, Ashanti region.